Welcome to the community calendar. I am Maya Evans. I am with USM Generation Action co-president, Phoebe Stubbs. Hi, how Hi, are Phoebe. you? How are you? Okay. So tell me, Phoebe, what is exactly Generation Action? So Generation Action is a student organization and an affiliate of Planned Parenthood. So we mostly desire to mobilize advocacy among students and younger generations, hence the name. Um, and we also want to educate people on reproductive rights and freedoms and educate people on sexual health and local and state and nationwide resources. So we pretty much do a little bit of everything that Planned Parenthood does. What kind of events does your organization do? I always like to say that we do a little bit of everything. Um, we do anything from tablings weekly to uh, crowd canvassings to hosting sex ed seminars where we have leaders or um, public figures come in and talk about certain topics. We really like to keep it switched up and um, keep things exciting and new because we're always trying to uh, foster new membership. So that's really important to us. Do you think your organization fosters student involvement? Oh, for sure. I, I think that this organization encourages students who um, would maybe not necessarily speak out and use their voice. I feel that this organization creates a safe space for queer students, people of color, people of different sexual orientations and origins. Um, I think that that really, really encourages involvement among students because they feel like they have a place to do so and they have a community of people that they can relate to and connect with and we also always always encourage people to come and help us at events um, even if they're just active members we do have a board of officers but we love to have members come out and show their faces too so as an organization you all gather a plan to write a letter to Joe Paul. Can you tell us more about that? So I'm sure that everyone is aware of the group of protesters that come on campus. They come on every Tuesday or Thursday. They like to switch it up. Um, but they they really spew a lot of homophobic, transphobic, racist, Islamophobic propaganda. Um, and that's something that we feel like really goes beyond what their First Amendment rights allow them as a group that comes on campus to publicly protest. Uh, we feel that their First Amendment rights become questionable when students feel threatened and unsafe on campus. And you know, this is the place where students are, are at every single day. They have to walk by these people and hear the things that they're saying. They're being called slurs. They're being told that they're going to certain places because of their life choices or things that are out of their control and uh, we want to do something about it. We want to express our concerns over this because we, we think that this has gone on for far too long. They've been here for years. Um, we can date it back to before 2017, but there are um, there is documented information about these people and some of the things that they've said, some of the dates that they've been here. Um, so we are organizing a letter writing campaign to Joe Paul uh, who's the USM president. He's an interim president, so we feel that um, our efforts would be especially monumental because he's kind of a transitional figure for us. He's not gonna be here um, for a whole, like for a long time. So we think that this would be especially um, influential. So we want to write these letters to him and just express our concerns, our personal experiences, let students talk about how this has affected them. And we want to raise up the people who um, are from minority groups and stuff on campus who don't feel like they can talk about these things, who feel like they just have to shut their mouth and go along with it and just let it happen. But we want to keep it from happening, so. So what make you guys started this movement? Um, Again, we, we think that these people create a threatening and unsafe environment for students. We think that um, we think that that's wrong. We think that these people shouldn't be allowed to um, spew this rhetoric mm -hmm. that that has no evidence behind it, that has um, no direction really. It's it's just kind of ridiculous stuff, mm -hmm. <laughs> and. Um, we, we feel like we have the right to say something about it. And we, because we are an organization and because we are gaining membership and um, 
and cite across social media and other mediums, we we think that we have the power to make a change. So, so I also read about you guys gonna start an alert system mm -hmm. when the protesters come. Can you explain more about that? Yeah, of course. Um, we don't have any specific plans in stone yet, but um, we do plan to at least send those email alerts out to active members of Gen Action, but we want to expand that beyond just our, our membership. We want all students on campus to be alerted whenever these people are on campus because there's people that don't even know about Generation Action. Like, there, there's always going to be people that are unaware. Um, so we want to expand that. We are working on getting in contact with the proper administration to make this happen. But um, every time that they are on campus or every time they have an event scheduled, we want to provide details on where they're going to be located, how long that they're going to be there approximately, and any guidelines we have for um, diverting attention from them, from diffusing conflict between them and the protesters because there is a lot of that. There's a lot of aggression towards students. And of course, students will um, reciprocate that because they feel threatened by these people. And that's understandable in my opinion. Um, so yeah, we, we're, we're working on it right now and we hope to do this uh, for many semesters to come. We hope for this to be something that's set in stone that, that we have control over mm -hmm. um, and we want to keep people in the loop. So That's good. Yeah. That's really good. So why do you want to create it as much? You explained it, but I just want to know, like, the alerts are just to get them, like, just let people know what to avoid them or just to let them know they're on campus. Um, we do, we do basically just want to let people know that they're on campus. On campus, okay. Um, because I, I can't tell you how many people I've talked to who have skipped class and stayed home wow. or stayed in their dorm because these people are here wow. because they've been, like, specifically targeted and and like verbally attacked by these people um so that's that's like the the forefront of that but we also want to um, let them know that there's resources there's places they can go they can go to the ime office um they can uh confide in the people that work with prism um we've also volunteered certain members to escort people to classes if they feel too unsafe walking by themselves. So, um, I don't know, we were maybe thinking about adding some information in about certain people that they can contact that will be on campus those days that can escort them to the proper location if need be. So that's another important detail that we want to emphasize with this. Um, but yeah, mostly to just let people know because again, so many people like do their best to avoid them so we want to make that a little bit easier that. yeah powerful yeah so as a leader you all as an organization to take decided to take matters in your own hands mm -hmm. what encouraged you all to bring student activism on campus I think that a student organization especially one that is kind of small like we still are again we're still growing um, but I think organizations like that can act as a catalyst for students and um, really encourage people, I know I've said this a couple times already, but really encourage people to use their voice when they don't feel like they have the place to do so. Um, and we have the resources, we have, we have people that we can connect with and get people connected to outside of campus um, and again we're an affiliate of Planned Parenthood so we are legally protected to a certain degree um, so that's also encouraged us to take action as well um, because we do have the means to do so so with those legal protections in mind and with the resources that we have in this area and especially because we have a Planned Parenthood clinic in Hattiesburg mm. Um, which a lot of people are not even aware of. So many people are so shocked by that. Y'all hear, um, yeah. <laughs> hear that? Yeah, take note. Um, but yeah, I, I think that we can act as a catalyst for that. I think that's a good word to describe it um, because I think we can really set people in action. All right. I think that 
think that that's good enough information right there, Phoebe. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right. Thank you all for tuning in on the community calendar. I'm Maya Evans. I'm with Phoebe Stubbs. Thank you.